Hey, beautiful. Good morning to you, uh, wherever you're watching us from. This is yours truly, uh, Mr. Panuka from, you know, Panuka Farm. Um, I am uh, in the cabbage, you know, fields, uh, looking, you know, lovely. Uh, I guess you can actually see all around me. Um, so I just want to share this ambience of this uh, uh, cabbage field uh, with you um, and then just provide you with some uh, you know additional you know tidbits uh, on you know cabbage you know farming uh, obviously this is one you know off crop that we actually do here uh, on the farm uh, so yeah uh, tag along uh, as I plow through uh, this cabbage field so um, it's a very windy but sunny day um, excellent weather condition for farming um, so we are in the cabbage uh, field here that's what you see here all oh, this is cabbage and we planted this uh, on a zigzag format being irrigated by drip um, previously I think when we did cabbage we actually used the rain house um, so again this just goes to show that um, you can actually use different irrigation methods and still be able to achieve very good results you can actually see this is quite some very good you know cabbage uh looking very good so on the left here we've got uh, this is my shadow from uh, uh rags one supplied by uh, holland green tech um, and then as you go this side we've got kilimo um, that's uh, from uh, uh, stack high so we've got two varieties here um, but they're all responding to the magical um you know panuka touch so we had a few incidences of um the sefa sefa dbm diamond black moth but generally this is still under control this is actually from the younger um you know leaves but you can actually see generally we've managed to contain this diamond you know black moth you can see from these leaves that uh it's actually under control and we are on our way to a very spectacular you know cabbage um you know uh, production so um a plant spacing of around 40 centimeters would be a bit more ideal uh so that you allow the heads to form you know much better uh here we've got about 30 centimeters um but what we've done is that they actually planted on zigzag so that uh on this other side it's actually given room to grow um, the head uh, but if you can afford to you know get a 40 centimeter uh, plants you know uh, spacing I think that would be a bit more ideal um, but it all depends on what you want to achieve so quality is a relative term um, what do I mean they are markets that actually love bigger you know frame of uh, or heads of, of cabbage then there are markets also that love um, the smaller sizes so you need to know um, what your market really is um, in terms of defining what a quality you know head of cabbage is and so that also determines how you grow the cabbage plant spacing how you feed it um, and, and stuff like that. so drip irrigation has done it for this batch like I indicated earlier uh, previously we've done using a rain hose so this is our cabbage this is its environment it loves the cold season um, being a brassica uh, but the other crops um, you know in open field yeah uh, they still do very well like lettuce um, I'll pretty much show you uh, shortly how our open field lettuce is actually doing so this is a good season for cabbage and you can actually see that it actually turns out very well with this magical panuka uh, touch so the the rows here around one meter apart and then like i indicated 30 centimeter uh plant you know spacing uh, but you can play around with those uh, based on what you're trying to achieve and then you can actually see on the other end we've got some sweet corn coming up so yeah uh, despite the cold this sweet corn has actually done pretty well kind of recovered and uh, doing very well it has actually started tussling so yeah um looks like our open field you know production is doing 
uh, pretty uh, well at present. Here we've got another young, you know, cabbage coming up. And then this patch, there's some iceberg lettuce. And here we have more iceberg lettuce that's coming up. So again, a testimony of some of the crops that are doing very well uh, in open field. So, all right, folks. Um, hope um, this video has helped just, uh, you know, bring out a few you know salient you know aspects about you know this you know, coming field and um, everything else that we're actually doing you know uh you know farm especially for you know open field uh you know portfolio um with some sweet corn there and uh you know some iceberg lettuce there so yeah uh, quite a bit very busy um you know at present um but yeah that's what we signed up for we are a farm and so yeah it's good to show that we are being you know productive and making sure that um you know um we stay on course with the three holy grails that's quality quantity and consistency and all you see here basically i think speaks to those you know three you know holy grails that we've kept you know preaching uh time and again here uh, on the panuka farm um you know uh social media platform so from yours truly, Mr. Panuka, have a lovely Sunday. Um, yeah, we're loving, you know, the ambience, the sun. Uh, we know uh, that's actually going to translate into quite some very fantabulous, fantastic uh, production. Bye-bye.